right, it is July 4th, 2014. Um, I had to do some maneuvering so the light wasn't too horrible. I'm using my um, computer to do this video. So I wanted to do a brief review on the Sudo Revolution Diamond Edition Flat Iron. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to do a review is because I wasn't able to find many reviews on this flat iron. Um, what happened was I did have this to do revolution, the one that came out right before this diamond series and I liked it, but I wasn't in love with it. And the reason for that was because I always felt that my hair was drier when I used the flat iron. Um, and I just couldn't figure out why. And I've seen reviews and I've I've read reviews as well stating that how some people here felt so much softer and I wasn't a believer because that, that was not my experience and I just felt well flat irons is a lot of heat so of course your hair is going to feel drier. With that being said it did feel much better than me using um, the flat irons that I received from beauty supply stores or even drug stores. It did feel much better, but it was just still dry. Well, one of the pros with this flat iron is my hair actually feels soft with this. Um, I don't know what it is about this that makes it feel soft, but it does. So I'm just gonna list some of the some of um, the features that I've noticed. Um, Hopefully this will give you more, a little additional information than whatever it is on the box. First of all, which I noticed right away, I know I'm swinging this, I'm sorry, is that it's extremely light. Like it doesn't feel as if you're holding anything at all. So that's one thing. Um, it's a one inch, um, it's one inch wide. Um, and it only comes in one size. So I know with my Sudo Revolution flat iron, I think it was 1.5 inches. And this is only one inch. So I thought that was going to be a concern of mine. Um, I thought it was going to take much longer for me to flat iron my hair. And it, it's not a big deal at all. Um, at least for me, it's not. Some people may have an issue with it only being in one size. Um, what else? It, ha it does have temperature settings. Um, my lighting's bad, so you're not going to be able to see it, but inside it does have temperature settings. One thing that may be a concern to some people, but it wasn't a concern of mine, is that it only has one, two, three, four, five, six temperature settings. So your only option is to either heat it to 180 230, 280, 340, 400, and 450 degrees. Those are your only options. You can't set it anywhere in between those increments that I've mentioned. I thought that was going to be a concern of mine because I do like flat ironing my hair a little below 350. Um... But I, I, I like I like being in full control as to um which temperature setting to putting put it on, and you're only giving me six. Um, it turned out not to be an issue at all. With this flat iron, I can actually flat iron my hair, my, my hair, not um this additional hair, um, with 280 degrees with one swipe, and it's straight and soft so the temperature settings are not an issue with me at all and I really like how this straightens my hair um what else about this that I like it does have it does give you the option to um turn the auto shut feature on if you choose to do so so if you're one of those type of people who you know, is always doing a lot of things at one time and has the tendency of being a little absent-minded. <laughs> um, that may be a nice feature for you as well. Um, so these are the things that I like about this to do Revolution Diamond Edition Flat Iron. Um, 
you can um, go to the Sudo website to look up other features. Um, I just wanted to mention the features that I really liked. Oh, and another thing that I thought was very interesting is that it has like these moving plates. You're not going to be able to see it, but they move. Yeah, maybe you can see it. You see it moves. Um, and I like that. Um, I curled my hair with this flat iron a few days ago and it gave me really nice curls. I loved it. Um, everything in one swipe. So I was able to straighten and curl my hair with the one swipe. It was really nice. Um, again, like I said, with my hair, I flat ironed my hair on 280 degrees and it was perfect and on the additional hair that magically grew. Um, I flat ironed it on 340 degrees and it did very well. Um, so yeah, this was worth the money. I got this from Falica.com. I believe I paid... I believe the original price for this is $179, but I got this when Falica was doing a special promotion. So after shipping and taxes and whatnot, I ended up paying $134 in change for this. So I thought that was a really good deal, especially since I did look online to see like the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest I can get it for and followcard.com as always for me, one. Um, although I must say I was a little, no, I'm not disappointed, but I thought I was going to be disappointed because a few days later I saw that followcard.com had this flash sale going on and with the flash sale, you were able to get the ion um to do flat iron a uh, the ion i believe blow dryer and something else for pretty much about the same price and the ion flat iron at original price is much more than 179 dollars so i thought i was going to be sad because i missed out on that but sorry my video cut off so i think i was in the middle of saying that, I thought I was going to be sad because I missed out on a flash sale going on at Falica, but I wasn't. Um, everything worked out for the best. And I know I kept saying Ion. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's the Icon series. It's something like that. Um, I'll, I'll try to find a way to um, probably put the name in the description for anyone who's interested in buying... Um, that flat iron. I can't give any reviews on it. It's very expensive and I haven't purchased it. And I don't think I'm going to need to purchase another flat iron. Um, so yeah, that's my review. I hope it was helpful to someone out there. Okay, happy 4th of July. Bye, smooches! <laughs>